Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now what I want to talk about today is something that uh, it's kind of a common problem among Final Cut Pro 10 users and that's how to uh, when you're working on a project and you want to inject uh, royalty free audio maybe it's a maybe it's an entire soundtrack maybe it's just a quick uh, a quick sound clip or whatever so how do you get it to where it'll show up within your music and sound within Final Cut Pro 10 and that's important because if you just look in Finder typically you're not going to see the duration of the track and duration is often important when you're working on a video project so what it's really simple to do uh, basically you'll go to your Macintosh hard drive you'll go to library directory once you're in library you'll go to audio then you'll go to Apple loops you'll go to Apple you will then go to uh, Final Cut Pro sound effects and all you have to do and this is the beauty of it so you create an alias so wherever your folder is housed you know maybe it's on an external hard drive maybe it's on your on your Apple's uh, desktop you simply create an alias of that folder and then drag it into this folder here and then once you do that when you go into Final Cut Pro 10 and you drill down you go to Final Cut Pro sound effects then you will see your uh, your other folders so uh, as you can see here I've added uh, I've added two folders and they're indicated they're they're an alias because I've got this little arrow so I've got video blocks which is royalty free audio that I downloaded from videoblocks.com and then I also have YouTube content creator which is the royalty free YouTube content creator audio content so just a helpful hint I know it saved me a lot of time because now when I'm editing a video let's say that it's that it's a video that's six minutes long I can simply sort my video box content my YouTube content creator audio library content and I can sort by duration that way if I don't want to have to put multiple tracks into that video I can find a video track that's of acceptable length so it'll save a lot of time, it consolidates, brings everything together and if you're like me and you're using Final Cut Pro 10 you want to have everything that you can in Final Cut Pro 10 and obviously I use three monitors. I'm looking at the uh, the iMac 27 inch right now and I've got two uh, uh, two IPS displays, one on each side of me as well. So uh, for a serious YouTuber or just for a hobbyist, I hope this is a helpful hint. Uh, be sure to share this tip with others. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash guy and enjoy all of my Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial videos. Y'all have a good day.